considering yeah, it's got so much being... polish on it, yeah. Yeah. But it was made for a console, so. No, I mean, consoles, they can be pretty demanding too. Uh, but this is flat out a very efficiently coded game. Yeah. Surprisingly well optimized. And uh, thing is, it's nice. It's also quite nice for a small game as well. It's a small game. It's mm. deliberately built that way, but it is feature complete as well. So it's uh, very well developed and it set, does what it set out to do. Apart from a few bugs uh, here and there, but uh, nothing's perfect. Yeah, they're, they're there. Yeah, I mean, like hot pants don't, hot pants don't work properly. And by that I mean the special legs that are supposed to trigger explosions. They don't actually explode and hurt things. So. Yeah. So that's the big thing. Yeah, that's the well, that's the main one, honestly. Yeah, and as you can see, little Kami, I've updated my armor. Yes. You look more like a trench than a human now. I am bulletproof. Though I don't think you can really look down and see much. Sure I can. My eyes are up here above my head. Can't you see? Can I tell from the mask? Meanwhile, I have this ridiculous helmet on. <laughs> yes, so I see. Is that a... And a cross between an official military hat and a... A college cap? No, it's an official helmet, alright. It's called the private cap. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I was just confirming my recording is fully active. Oh, we just lost little Kami and Damo again. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, did wait, did you, are you two still together? Yeah, I'm still on the ship. Are you still with Damo? Yes. It might be, yeah, it might be because I'm tabbing out then. Okay. Seems like it might not be okay for me to tab out. Hmm. Um. Doesn't seem to be letting me directly rejoin you guys. Well, that's not working out, I would hope. Uh, resetting back to my ship. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, resetting my ship got me able to join you again. There we go. Damn, those flag machine guns take up a lot of fucking room. Uh, there are some rare machine guns that take more than one slot, yeah. Considering that he, Iron here is well, a actually, Maximilian it, machine gun on his. It's showing that it's only taken up one slot. Yeah, that means you need to select the other slots. Um, yeah, you've got, you've got it in slot two. You want left trigger slot one for the other weapon mount. What? That that flak machine gun is in slot two. Okay. So You're left, left for trigger slot. Three. Yeah, left trigger slot one is the one above it. Also, shall we do an, an intro then, since uh, we're both recording now? Sure. Nice. If you'd like to start us off, go ahead. Uh, sure. Yes. Um. Hello there everyone, this is I am Mark 3 Welcome to a casual bit of stompy robot warfare on an old game, but it's still very good and holds up well by today's standards, called um, Iron Brigade. Yes, I am joined today by uh, the other two members of our trio of damnable intentions. Is that a fair name? I'll run with it, sure, why not? Down, trio uh, of damnable intentions, yeah. Um, who have been playing through Seven Days Die and uh, 
borderlands and things. So we've got uh, Mr. Little Kari. Hello. Yep, the guy in the fancy red hat who's giving me a salute there. Yes, that's fine. And live long and prosper. That's me. And we are also joined by Mr. Damadoc. What's up? Who is showing us his pistol right now. <laughs> I don't know. pretty. Yeah, that's pretty pretty. That, that's actually a deagle, I think. So yeah, um, and just for transparency, both Dama and myself are going to be recording this as we play through the game. So you can find his viewpoint on his channel. And Little Kari is pretty much along for the ride. He's yep. usually pretty chill with it though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I should also fully disclose that um, Little Kari and I have both played this before. Lokar has played it on just on console. He's only had the PC version for, for a few days ish. He's, he's barely played it. Uh, Dam is completely new to this. He's played a couple of test levels to explore the game a little bit, and I have I'm played the hell out of this game. It. Yeah, and I, I've played, played the hell out of this game. So I am well in advance of these two. And yeah. that's something I wanted to discuss before we started. Actually, uh -huh. how do you two want me to contribute to this little? Orgy of destruction. Bring the Dacker. Bring the Dacker. How um, do you want bring me to limit Daka. myself or my equipment in any way? I don't mind. Bring whatever you feel like. Yeah. Same here. Are you sure? Because, do you think um, we need uh, big guns? Then bring a big gun. I just mentioned this because as I am a high played a high tier, not quite as high tier as I have on the Xbox, I must admit, but still pretty darn high. Uh, a lot of my gear is far more powerful than the equivalent versions that uh, my two companions are able to bring at this time. So that's why I wanted to ask, see if there was anything they wanted to address first. Nah. More darker the better. Yep. Seems like they're just happy with me bringing whatever to the fight. Fair enough. So I'm going with four standard machine guns and a flat cannon, it looks like. Yep, uh, the flat cannon, by the way, does cast the machine gun damage, so they're perfectly fine mixing them together like that. It won't affect okay. performance in the slightest. Good. It's just um, a flak weapon does bonus damage to airborne targets and reduce damage to ground targets. I'll be bringing a jackhammer, which is a automatic shotgun, and a shredder machine gun. Yep. Um, also of note, Lil Kari is bringing an en engineering trench with him to our initial outing in this. Dam has got the standard trench. Uh, right now I am fitted with also a standard trench, but with a really massive Gatling cannon strapped to the side of it. It's pretty. Mm. It's actually one of the best DPS weapons available in the game. The only drawback Can is... Can I touch a cannon I am? Yeah, sure, if you want to. <laughs> The only drawback to that cannon is it's the only machine gun that re requires three weapon slots to be fitted. Ooh. So uh, it, Matt, imagine it, the insane rate of fire makes up for that, right? Oh yeah, insane rate of fire, insane reload, very high damage. Um, it's uh, it's the only machine gun in the game as big as an artillery cannon. Hmm. Okay. So, then. shall we go to the first mission? <laughs> Thanks to your early yeah. efforts, the ammo depot is safe. Let's blow some shit up. We have to get you back out on that beach. Reports from the front line speak of a new breed of tube, one that's held that on destruction. Don't let them get too close or this ship's going down. But believe it or not, I'm not the best swimmer. By the way, and that was our glorious leader, Woodruff. Yep, who's he's currently stuck in an iron lung machine. Yep, he's the guy here. Uh, he also invented Hi, the Woodruff. trenches and the robotic arms he's using and all that stuff, so... Yeah, he's the brain behind all of this. Look, well, has got himself a classy looking hat there. <laughs> That's what I've been saying ever since I saw it. Hmm. I like my bulletproof armor though. It's metal plates and I think that sandbags I've got strapped onto it. I don't know. You look like a totem pole. Well, that's because I've got a tiki hat on top, so yeah. I just want my face poking out above the armor. Yeah. Okay, so we ready to do this? Yep. Look, Harry and I are both uh, approved of deployments. And here we go. Three conduits have erupted just off the coastline. 
You'll need to protect the ship as we prepare to shove off. If they breach the hole, we'll never make it out of here. And anyone scares? Our ship has legs. Yes. Yeah, it just breached itself because um, in the tutorial we're protecting a major, a, a, sorry, a major, a vital ammo depot, which is this building over here, because we needed the munitions stored in it to actually start fighting back against our aggressors, which are these. They're, they're called tubes, now. but they are essentially walking collections of televisions, and that's the scrap they drop. Those blue things. Those are. The scrap is literally like TV screens. Yep. And don't know if you notice, but sometimes a plane flies overhead in this map, actually. It's just a little detail I didn't even know about until like a few days ago. So. Yeah, I, th I think this is giving you a good idea. Right, right now we're walking around as mobile weapons platforms, collecting the scrap. And the other mechanic of this game is its tower defense side. We can deploy the scrap as come. emplacements, which have varying costs depending on the function of the emplacements. The type, yep. Which uh, core you have. Yep, because engineers get a discount on emplacements they put down. And an assault chassis, which we don't have with us, in fact, it's the, only, it's the only type of trench we don't have at the moment among us, uh, they have to pay more to put down turrets. The, the trade-off is... Engineer chassis is a little faster, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that, that's the, the trade-off. Engineer chassis are also faster. So they, they, they get also to, don't have as much health. Yeah, I was, I was about to try to explain that, yeah. So, this standard is chassis good. is the standard, it's the baseline, everything's compared to that. It's got average in terms of durability, speed, weapons, payload, number of emplacements, that kind of thing. Uh, the assault chassis is slow, it's got more hit points, it can carry the biggest, heaviest weapons available, and it can deploy the oh fewest emplacements, and the emplacements cost more to deploy. So it's more... If you want to be engaged in direct combat, you bring an assault type. The opposite though, if you want to play this more as a tower defense slash supporting unit, is what Lil Curry's got here, the engineering trench. And I'm a tiny boy! Yeah, he really is a tiny boy. I mean, look, this is the size difference. If you compare him, he is like um, two thirds the size of mine. I must admit, your men have made me very angry. And this is our main antagonist, who has a fantastic mustache and beard. No, his mustache is the key thing. How brightly it glows, red with rage, Frank. I also believe that his beard is also his mustache. This is true. I hate to say it, but this one's coming, coming after you. Incoming suicide. Don't let it get close. If one of them blows up in your face, it could take your whole trench out of commission. Uh, quick question. What are... What's what? What do I do when Except I want to defenses. deploy a turret? What can I get you? Base. Um, Base? Okay, I couldn't remember. Number key to select the turret type, or you can... No, you can't mouse me, sorry. Yeah, number type, then press and hold space. Shotgun, please! I can't shoot everything myself! Yeah, I was, was going to say, engineering type, it's faster, but it's got less hit points, and it can hold the lightest weaponry. So it really is like run around and support, but it's not going to do very much in terms of direct combat. And, uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers the three trench types now, doesn't it? Is there anything else that I've missed, little Kai? Nope. Okay. I've spotted the enemy. You know what, I should probably put down some collection bombs, shouldn't I? Ah, friendly! Please don't shoot! Ow. You okay there, Zama? Uh, just but a flesh wound. Yeah, well, better hitting you than little car, I must admit. Oh yeah, uh, that was that was what I was planning to say. Rule of thumb. If an opponent's blue, it's going after the objective. 
if an opponent's red, it tries to attack the player in some way. In this case, the red ones we've had so far are uh, suicide charges. And the blue ones we've had basic melee, and the ones with the uh, scorpions stingers on the back are called Tommies. And they do a ranged attack. They will sometimes yeah. attack you, but um, if It'd they're close enough to hit the target, then they will just shoot at the uh, target we're defending. There you go, little guy. A bit of supporting fire. But yeah, just because it's um, blue doesn't mean it won't attack you. It just it prefers not to. I got this. Why don't they just give up? There we go. Oh yeah, uh, Damo, I don't know if you noticed, but if you walk next to the damping generator, it actually distorts sound for you as well. Here comes some resistance. Really? Right yeah, there. did you spot that? No. Yeah. It slows down everything, in including you. Except for how you trench walks and fires. Yeah, ah, the mortar. Love it. Oh, you got a mortar out? Oh, yeah, you do. Nice yeah. work, Marine. Yeah, it's a handy explosive to it. I'll give it that. In fact, I was actually waiting for the blitzer section to run down this alleyway. Oh, so you were, you were trying to get a chain reaction going on. I was wrong, yep. friend. Wrong to attack your men, or your sad little deep. Wrong to scrape with the side of your ship like a tiny barnacle. I need to sink that ship once and for all. And I have just the thing to do. His name alone is too technical for you to comprehend. Why don't you just call him... Big? Really? Good God! It's it's a monster. And cue the Get dick jokes. Got, yeah, big Willy. Don't let him near the ship. I think it's actually named after a whale. Yeah. But this is the third enemy type. It's a boss monster type. It, that's why it's got a uh, health bar and marker pointing to to it. They normally drop a lot and of scrap and a loot box, which gives you an extra reward item at the end of the mission. Yep. They also do a lot of damage if they reach the objective. So, Come on aboard, yeah. Marine. Don't let them reach the objective if you can help it. I, I, I was afraid we'd let a few dings get through, but uh, we apparently protected the ship completely. Good. So well, then even the paint was scraped. Yep. Ooh, I got light shotgun now. Yep, um, you guys should have gotten a regiment update from me because I've, I've been playing since we had a look at it. That should have happened the first time you signed on today. I don't know if I did enough to, for you to unlock anything though, but um, it will count anything I do as part of the regiment update for you guys, and it'll okay. unlock regiment prizes and unlocks for you. Good. So yeah, that's, that's a, a little feature that happens. Alright, so who or what dies next? Next up we are back to the airfield. Actually. I'm just uh, swapping my trench around a little bit. So yeah, um, for those that don't see, what I'm doing right now is I am refitting my trench from a normal type to an engineering type but you got to re-pick the different emplacements and things you've got access to sometimes the slots are the same and it doesn't automatically unlock them but um, most often different trench types like uh, there's two different types of trench for each weight class they have different weapon and slot layouts so you have to reassign 
half to all of the stuff if you change between the trenches. Yep, and the trenches have different encampments, uh, emplacement slots as well. Yeah, that, that's what I meant, because I had to replace my heavy and light turrets, because the light slot was originally a heavy slot on the standard trench. So yeah, I'm, I'm joining Lil Kari as a little speed demon, effectively. Though well, you have the massive mine layer. Yeah, I'm bringing mines. Because why not, effectively. Ooh, the Super Shredder turret. Hmm. Shredding is such a useful ability in this game. Yeah, considering it gives you more scrap to use. Yeah. It's asking me if I want to deploy with handicapped equipment. What the hell does that mean? Um, I think that means you don't have a weapon the game considers optimal for the mission at hand. Like, some missions it has a specific recommended weapon type. And Make it'll sure flag you, you up if you don't have a weapon of that type equipped. You with your pants down. I think in your case you just don't have an anti-aircraft emplacement or weapon fitted. Yep. No, no, I didn't cover. Yeah, but uh, but we've got you covered, so you can bring machine guns and such if you if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Look, Harry and I both have anti-aircraft weapons fitted, actually. Though mine's much more smaller. Yeah, well, mine's an AOE style thing, so. Oh, why don't you guys just get a tape measure? Nah, I'd win. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Physical, the models are actually physically different. Yeah, da damn it. If you come and have a look really quick before we launch, you'll see why. <laughs> but it's not, it's not really a contest at the moment. Oh, hello. Yeah, mine's that big thing up there. And no car has got the one that you've got, I think. Mm, yep. The thing is, mine's actually a two-slot one, so... It, okay, it, then. Of course, it's a bigger gun. Welcome to the last operational airfield in all of Europe. Every day, brave pilots navigate through flying tubes in erratic weather to deliver life-sustaining supplies from this airfield. We must fight to ensure they're able to continue doing so. The problem with your thinking, Woodrow, is that it's just so... pedestrian. Let me show you the heights to which the broadcast can soar. And let me show you how quickly these aerial monovisions can tear apart your fragile control tower. Ha! Vlad doesn't know that we've been developing flak turrets for just such an enemy. Get some of them on the field right now. Yep, and um, that's why I was flagging Damo before we started. This is the game's first introduction to airborne enemies. So that, that's why it specifically that says works. bring a, yeah. It's a, that's why it specifically says bring anti-aircraft guns, you idiots. Or well, it, it tries to say that. Request one machine gun emplacement, sir. But there are ground enemies coming in as well. And yeah, uh, the little bastards right now. Mm, yep. Yeah. Speak of the devil, they'll turn up at some point. Oh yeah, that, that's the thing, little carry. Um, the weapon I'm using it does area effect damage, but um, apparently it doesn't actually do explosive damage. It's gonna be help, not so much helpful for the next round. No, I mean like um, it used to be able to to um, act as an armor breaker, no, 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 but no. It, it can't because it's not actually technically an explosive weapon. It's just an AOE weapon. Yeah, and that's what I mean. The next uh, one requires us to have an armor breaker. Fair point. Mind you, the AOE though is really good against the swarms of lighter enemies like this. Need a machine gun down here, sir. I feel like we should explain a little bit as well. It's like, um, things look so dire right now because in the game world, effectively the tubes have been winning and taking over the world at the moment. So we are in the last ditch defense of, um, I think we're in America. Yeah. Oh? Yeah. Okay, That's yeah. I said in the briefing. 
All right, sorry, I didn't hear the Europe part, yeah. But basically this is like a last, this last ditch defense, which is why we're trying to defend the last airfield. The tutorials defend the last ammo dump, and then the first mission we played before this one was protect the ship so before we can leave that ammo dump. So, you know. That's why things are a tad serious and under-equipped at the moment. Like they're more coming. Where are they coming from? Placement confirmed. Oh yeah, our turrets are also equipped. So mags are equipped with a super powerful magnet. Yeah, you could collect scrap by walking over it, but it's better to just hit the magnet key. While the magnet's active, you can't use any abilities or weaponry. You can't deploy things, but it makes it a lot easier to collect stuff. Yeah. Oh, hello. Ow. Someone found nice the fuel truck. Woo! <laughs> the fuel boys, to be more precise. Oh, dear. Are you okay? Eh, no. No. Badly damaged. Oh, this is a fire. Fuel up? A high pressure system of destruction is coming your way. This, this map also introduces something else. Sometimes an area effect is applied on the battlefield in general. In this case, it's electric discharge, which damages you if you happen to stay standing on it. And there's plenty. Yeah, though sometimes the discharge actually releases a little bit of scrap as well, so it can be a benefit sometimes. I think I like the machine guns better. Uh, Although compared the to machine guns also have the, the flak has a less effect on ground units. Yeah, that, that's what the flak special effect on your flak cannon does. Yeah, um, but I'm running this with three shotguns and like. Uh, yeah, the shotgun stuff is low rate of fire. Very low, to be precise. Yeah, but they normally make up with the vapor with saturation damage. In fact, slug slug shotguns are very powerful. Some massive swarm coming in. Not anymore. All right. That's the last you have to be like standing next to them for that to be even worth it, it looks like. Yeah, they are very short range. But you got to remember also right now you are like Oh thank you, Loco. Upgrading my sh super shredder to top level. And you can tell that I it was one upgrade concerned my camo is on there. Yep. The one that upgrades the uh, weapon is the color that the deployed weapon has. That's what what we're doing though. Upgrading stuff is a flat payment. It's usually cheaper than deploying a full turret, but it does come with a significant performance boost. So it's it it's well cheaper it. to deploy a full turret than it's to upgrade. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I had that backwards. The exception being support towers, which cost the same flat price. Yeah. Okay. Let's 
since I'm equipped with mine layers, we could test that if I save enough scrap and place one. You're dead. The thing is, that will cost me uh, 72 scrap since it's a heavy turret. Hey, uh, mind deploying a mine collector over here? Uh, I don't quite have enough to a mine. That I was going to put down a collection pot. Collector. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, I saw you. Uh, yeah, I'll pop one here. Hot soup coming through. There you go. That airborne. Massive airborne. Okay. That's one of the good like thing about this particular map. It gives you a good idea of the craziness to come because it's the first map is very limited, but this one actually dares to send swarms at you in a very confined space as well. So you're fools. All I've been trying to give you is information, the wisdom of the broadcast. Luckily, my new vault driver. Is here to rain my wisdom down upon you. Receive my teaching from the sky. I think we have enough flak to take care of this guy. We got a lot. Okay, that it, it survived its dummy flyby. It'll try and do a bombing run next if it survives. As you can see, Vault Dropper does try to attack us too. But we had too much firepower. We took it out. I see nothing wrong with that. <laughs> now that was fun. I'd pay to watch you do that again. And we see Dama likes his drink. Yes, yes. very much so. <laughs> I am a bit of a whiskey man, I'll admit. 96%. So yeah, that one went pretty well. We. We kept the airfield fully operational. Um, mm -hmm. Makes it mortar, woodwork, standard machine gun, light artillery cannon. 